Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and I'm back with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. So we spent most of the Christmas season hunting toys at Ross because the deals were insane. We hunted for Universal Monsters. We hunted for The Princess Bride. We hunted for G.I. Joe Classified. We hunted for Masters of the Universe. But now that Christmas has come and gone, the Ross hype has kind of died down and we're back to hunting for vintage toys in thrift stores. And today's episode is all about the thrift. So we're gonna be hitting up several thrift stores today in search of vintage toys. If you're new to the channel, I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. So if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, chances are you'll like my channel. So I would invite you to hit that subscribe button. But I got another action packed adventure for you guys today, Lego. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Well, let's see what we can find. What's this? Uh, some sort of Spider-Man airplane. Looks like we got a dragon. Oh yeah, he's been here for a while now. Here's another dino. Oh, looks like we got a Bane. That's a cool Bane. And then we got a Dino Trucks. These things are usually worth a little money. And then here's that dragon. If it had the extra heads, I would definitely pick it up. He's pretty cool. What's this? Oh, it's an Anakin Skywalker. All right, let's go check the baggies. What do we got in baggy land? I don't know who these little blue people are. They kind of remind me of like muscle figures. We got Winnie the Pooh and a safari outfit. It's like the only toy in there though. Oh, look at that dino on that motorcycle. Got Princess Peach, Princess Jasmine. Some My Little Pony, little baby figures. And here's another bag of smalls. There's a Donkey Kong in there, a Woody, some sort of hippo. The mouse from Dumbo. But other than that, there ain't nothing. Oh man, look at this giant Tasmanian Devil pencil. If it had the eraser on it, I'd grab it, but I'll just leave it here. It's just junk. Got a Supergirl glass. And then check out this Star Wars mug, like still in the box. Cool. Oh, what's this? Mega Constructs. What do they want for that? $6.96. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's uh, selling for about 20 bucks. It's Mega Constructs Call of Duty. It is pretty neat, but I have no personal use for it and I'm probably not gonna flip it. So I'll just leave it here for somebody else. Oh, we got the Honeymooners on DVD. Sweet Home Alabama. White Christmas. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much over here either in old VHS land. Man, I wish that multi-headed dragon would have had all of its heads because I would have definitely picked it up. It reminded me of Tiamat from the Dungeons and Dragons animated series. And it would have looked great with my Dungeons and Dragons figures. The Star Wars mug was kind of cool, but I passed on it. And then there was that Mega Constructs vehicle which i thought looked eerily similar to this indiana jones uh vehicle that i picked up at target over the summer when these things were on sale uh they were on clearance and i picked them up but uh or maybe it was like early fall anyway uh it looked very similar to this i wonder if these guys used the same mold as that as the uh, mega constructs but anyway we got busted at the end of the day we got busted but that's all right because we have several more thrift stores to hit up and hopefully just hopefully we'll find some vintage toys today oh wow these are still here they slash prices on them though 
from 10 down to five, but they're still here. Nintendo 64 game. What's down here, anything? Looks like Ray from Star Wars. That might be like a little bag of, uh... oh yeah, they want 17 bucks for that bag. Damn. Oh, there's the Iron Giant. That's cool too. I had him once before, I sold him. Some more Star Wars. All right, well, let's go check the shelves and then we'll check the bags. All right, there's a. Uh some Nintendo games. Actually, I'm gonna ask to see those. Yeah, check that out. Pizza Crusher, Avoid the Noid. Star Voyager, Ragar. All right, I'm gonna have to look up some gameplay on these. All right, so we're gonna get three of the four games. I'm gonna pass on the NASCAR. In the meantime, while she's holding them for me, let's see if we can find some more vintage goodies. We're on a roll right now. <laughs> We're on a roll. We found one item. But maybe we'll get on a roll. Oh, look at this old castle. Oh, wow. That one sucker is heavy. And that thing is old, too. Fisher Price Play Castle. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so big. Man, I would kind of dig to bring that home. That's like old school, man. Does it have a year on it? Whoops. Well, this thing, the castle by itself, is selling for about 30 bucks. Oh, look, it's got even like a little hidden compartment back in there. Yeah. It's going to need some major cleaning up, and it's actually broken see this piece right here but you could probably just kind of put some putty in there or something right it's got this little door that opens and closes this thing is super neat it's from like 1974 and they only want 3.99 for it hmm decisions decisions oh look at the size of this dude Holy cow. They want $13 for him. Damn. All right, now let's see what the bag's got. Oh, we got a Final Faction P131. These little figures in here. Here are these guys. There's that dude. And then there's this dude. I have no idea who they are. They look like pirates. Looks like there might actually there's three of them in there. Oh, that looks like Willie from there's a hole in the bag here. Let's just open that up. I don't know if I, I thought that was Willie from Duck Dynasty. And we got some imagine next green lantern. Big old bag of army men. Some interesting horses in there. A little collection of them. And what we got here? We got a Wonder Woman. Looks like a little wind up car. A bicycle. Like a steampunk type of bicycle or something. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy Buzz. Hey, it's that uh, one of those Phineas and Ferb kids. Maybe two of them in there? That might be another one. Oh, there's actually these two guys. There's two of them and then maybe this one. So maybe three. And a tuning fork. How funny is that? You don't see those too often, do you? Oh, look at this bag. I thought that was a strawberry shortcake doll for a second. 
But it's got a bunch of these little figure dolls in it. I have no idea what those are. Are those like Polly Pockets? I thought Polly Pocket was like small, like wee little. But maybe they made a bigger version of them. I don't know if you guys know in the comments below, especially the girl subscribers, I think you'd probably know more than the boys. Let me know what these are and whether or not it would have been worth $8.99 to get it and resell it because I'm not going to pick it up for nine bucks. But I don't know, you know, it could be $75 worth of stuff there. I don't know, but let me know in the comments below. Oh, look at that. We got a C-3PO in there. Now, that looks like an older 3PO. But I wouldn't really be able to tell unless I buy the bag. Let's see how much they want for that. $4? If that's a vintage 3PO, that would be totally worth 4 bucks. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this bag just to get the 3PO. Man, I'm telling you, I don't think anybody wants those Space Jam figures. This things have been there like, I don't know, two or three weeks or something like that. They've been there a while. They're probably priced higher than what they should be, but nobody wants them, obviously. However, I did want these. So I got Star Voyager. I picked up some of the Nintendo games. I got Rygar, and then I also got Yo Noid to add to the collection. In addition to that, I did buy the bag <laughs> with the 3PO. My game just dropped on the ground. I did get the ninth. This is a 1977 C3PO. So how cool is that? We found some vintage Star Wars and I got that vintage Fisher Price castle. Speaking of, let's do a little show and tell. Well, here it is, gang, in all its glory, the Fisher Price Play Family Castle. Perfect size for your TMNT. How cool is this thing? Here's like the little, you know, dungeon area, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what all the, what everything is on this castle. But uh, let's move Splinter out of the way. You can see we got some candelabras back there, some shields hanging on the wall, like family crests or something like that. We've got this moat. There's a little sticker wear right there, but that's okay. And then let's turn this thing around. And here's the back side of the castle. You can see that we've got this staircase leading upstairs to this upper room. And maybe that's the dungeon. It looks like somebody's locked up in there and his beady little eyes are looking out the hole. And then we've got this other door over here. And uh, looks like a puppy or a dog or something there on the left hand side and then we've got down here we've got another dog at the in the fireplace we got some cobwebs coming out of here <laughs> so um and then we've got leo coming through the front door now check this out as well so there's actually a secret compartment let's open this up oh look 3po hiding from the empire inside this uh secret room so how cool is this thing? Like, I absolutely love it. Pretty sweet scores, in my personal opinion. And one of my subscribers and Goody Wheel Gang member, Sally O'Brien. Sally is a big Fisher Price fan. And I she sent posted a picture in our Goody Wheel Gang the other day of her grandson's bedroom. And it was loaded with vintage Fisher Price, which is like so cool. Um, and I noticed that she had a vintage Fisher Price castle in the picture. So super cool. Big shout out to Sally. Love having her in the group. Speaking of, if you want to become a Goody Wheel Gang member, all you got to do is buy a t-shirt. It helps support the channel. If you're a true fan, a true fan, you'll buy yourself a t-shirt and join our Goody Wheel Gang. It is the, the group on Facebook is a fire, fire. In we go. <laughs> it really is like just like I've said this before a million times, but it is so awesome. Everybody in there is so great. They're posting pictures of their finds at the thrift stores throughout the week. They're posting pictures or giving us, uh, you know, inside information or hot tips on, wh uh, on what they're finding at Ross and other 
uh, locations or what type of clearance deals are going on at Target. And, and it's a it's a great network of people. Let me just put it that way. And I am so, so proud of our group and the we're all creating this really strong bond and becoming great friends so i would invite you to become a goody will gang member help support the channel and come join an awesome group all right in the meantime let's go hit up a goody will and see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are at our first goody will of the day what you got for me today goody will what you got for me today kind of here this goodwill really doesn't have much of, of anything anytime the only thing i ever really scored out of this one was the uh the little space guy thing what was it called billy blastoff scored some 1960s billy blastoff out of here once but most of the time i don't score anything but but i'm here to check their vhs because sometimes they do have a good vhs selection Let's check it out. We got a lot of games in here. It looks like a lot of them are sports games. I was kind of looking to see if there was like a Wii Mario game. Those ones uh, pay off pretty fast, but I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's go check the shelves. All right, what do we got? Looks like a bunch of junk. A little drone. Oh, we got a... Wizard Scooby. I mean, honestly, I mean, look, okay, this guy's got a broken hand. There was something there that's broken. Looks like this piece is broken. How much are they asking for this? 10 bucks. Do people actually buy this broken shit for 10 bucks? Like, I have a hard time believing that. And I don't know how they could even price it at something like that. I mean, these things aren't repairable, right? Like, once this breaks, you can't repair that. All right, let's see. What do we got? The cost of freedom. White Christmas. What's down here? State and Maine. West Side Story. Boy Scout. Lucille Ball, Finding Lucy. What's this? Oh, it's a magic, magic game, card tricks. Peacemaker. Sea Biscuit. All right, I'm not seeing anything here that I want. Let's go check this back shelf back here. Quick and the Dead. I remember when that movie came out. Across the Great Divide. All right, well, I think we're gonna get skunked at the Goody Will. That particular Goody Will, I rarely score anything out of, so it's really no surprise that we got busted. Busted at the Goody Will. All right, let's go hit up Big Texas Thrift. All right, it's time to see what these shelves behold. It's some sort of Lego boat. Sometimes I look at stuff like this for just like, you know, diorama pieces and whatnot. Oh, look at this thing. This thing's made out of metal. It's a coat rack. It's a big old axe. That axe, and then look at these like golden safari animals Indiana Jones, and the lost lion of gold. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, here's another. Here's a big one. I got a red one of these guys. What are they asking for him? 1987, 1997. Oh, there's something in his mouth. I've got this exact one, but he's red. Hmm. I don't see a price tag on him anywhere, though. I don't know if they'll sell them to me. I'll ask, but I ain't seeing... Ouch. I ain't seeing nothing. My fingers ended up uh, 
getting caught on the staples on the back side here. Oh, look at this thing. That is awesome. I had like three of these at one point. I ended up selling them all at my yard sale. I really like the colors of this one. Stickers are coming off it though. Sweet. We have some more military stuff over here. We got a Sentinel-1 tank. But other than that, seeing a whole lot oh this jeep here is a jumanji jeep oh it looks like there's two of them actually well this one here says core on it oh, the core and this one says jumanji they use the same jeep that's funny because look like this one even has like like mud on the sign of it, and it says 12-2, this is four by four. They literally use the same mold. Be good for 375 Joes. Smart card game, or smart game card, smart. Oh, it's for, uh, for a PC. Well, I just looked it up and uh, people are trying to sell this for like 80 bucks, but there's been none sold in the last 90 days. Check this out. It's for IBM. Did you guys see that controversy that uh, with IBM that James O'Keefe from O'Keefe Media broke? He went undercover and found out that they that IBM was basically docking docking their employees pay their you know their managers their higher ups their vice presidents and stuff if they didn't hire certain ethnicities and in their 10 commandments of ibm it it lists in there that all white people are racist and that uh isn't that crazy so anyways uh, i think he's uh i think the ceo of the company I think he got fired or something like that but anyway uh kind of crazy that's the ibm reminded me of that we live in a crazy world guys it's it's i don't know who these people running the show are just like psychopaths they're nuts look at this little baseball game it's from 2006 that's kind of fun well there's a bambi mcdonald's 1980s mcdonald's Bambi figure, uh, the owl. Hey, it's Velma. That's like a core action figure, I think. Hey, it's a Snuffleupagus. And maybe a Treasure X dude right here. Oh, check this out. It's got the Simpsons season premiere, November 2000, and then Saturday Night Live, Electron Bash. Hmm, I might pick that tape up just to take a look at it. Von Rhymes Express. It's got Frank Sinatra in it. Trevor Howard. Looks like a war movie. I've never seen it. Frank Sinatra busts loose and outsmarts the Nazis. All right, I'm going to pick this up too. Every time I see this young Indiana Jones, it's always the same one, the treasure of the peacock's eye. I never see any other VHS from, from that line. And I know there's more. What's this? The tortoise and the hare animated. Executive decision. Larry boy. All right, it's time to check out Baggy Land. Oh, look at this. We got a Darth Vader with no lightsaber as usual. Kylo Ren's in there too. Batman, Superman. What's this? Oh, we got a Transformer in there. And then like Thanos and this dude here that appears to have some sort of Spider-Man web around him. 
Okay, I'm like kind of looking at this guy, right? And I'm like, he looks older. It looks like older plastic. I could be wrong, could be a reproduction, but I think this is a G1 Dreadwing. And he's worth about 35, 40 bucks. So I get that. It's $8, but I get two action figures. I could probably sell these guys and get my money back and just keep this thing. I don't know if it's a reproduction now, but I'm gonna take a chance on it. Look at these dudes. Ah, oh, there's like a TMNT vehicle for five bucks. I'm gonna get it. I don't wanna pay five dollars, right, but I'm gonna get it. Oh, we got some vintage. Oh, we're starting to find some vintage stuff. There's some vintage Power Rangers. I've got this guy already. Now I want six bucks for the bag. Oh, this is a transformer in here as well. All right, all right. We're starting to find some vintage toys, guys. <laughs> all right. Crazy. All right, there's a Yoda. These are newer Star Wars. Not really interested in those. That Yoda is so weird looking. All right, so I'll put this back on the shelf. Probably not gonna get this because I'm not into the new Star Wars. Look at these guys. There's Linus. Oh, look at this little cap gun. That's cool. That's old too because it doesn't have like the plastic, uh, the little orange plastic thing on the end of it. All right, I'm probably gonna grab that too. Here's some more Transformers. I just noticed that this gun is a transformer as well. That's cool. Oh, we got a Jurassic Dino here. I think that's Jurassic. Yeah, yeah he's a Jurassic Dino. And we got some dinos here. I also saw this. It's almost like it's like a, a mold or a prototype or something. I'll probably leave it here though. It's kind of neat though. I just don't know how old it is. Uh, we got some Pikachus in here. There's some more Star Wars in there too. There's a Han Solo, Mace Windu. There's a droid right there. That droid's cool. And the Pikachus and some Imaginex. It's a fun little bag. Six bucks though. I wish their bags were like two ninety nine or something. Well, I just tried looking this little dude up and his name is R7A7 and every version of him I found, those two little red squares are blue. Like I did not see any of him with the red squares. So I'm wondering if this is like a rare variant. I don't know, might be worth taking a risk on it for $5.99. Oh, I'll decide here in a little bit. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, this red alert figure, if he had his weapon, he's selling for like 30 bucks. Without his weapon, he's selling for like seven, eight dollars. And he's, he's, he's from 2022, I think, so he's a new one. The only, I don't really want to collect new Transformers per se, but this gun is kind of neat. But it's made by a company called, uh, Happiness Express. I don't know if I want to pay five bucks. Just, I don't know. Again, I'll think about it. Hey, there's a birdie figure from the previous adult Happy Meal stuff that McDonald's did. That's one figure I didn't get. I got like a Grimace and a Hamburglar, but I did never got Birdie, but I ain't paying five bucks for that either. Oh, look at this dude, this, this Imaginext. I've seen him before over the years. It's a neat figure. Not anything I'm really into collecting, but I do think it's neat. I'm pretty sure he's Imaginext. Uh, well, he's made by Mattel, I don't know. Is Imaginext made by Mattel? You guys can let me know in the comments below. I always thought he was Imaginex, but maybe he's not. Check it out, you can like turn him. Oh, he's kind of cool actually. The more I'm playing with him, the more I'm like, well, maybe I should grab him. What do they want for him? 
Oh, there's no price on him. I just asked about the other dinosaur that didn't have a price on it from earlier, and they said they wouldn't sell it to me. So they probably wouldn't sell this one to me either. Man, I gotta tell you, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked to actually find vintage goodies at Big Texas Thrift in their baggy section. Like that particular Texas Thrift, I never find anything in their baggies ever, but they had some vintage goodies in there, some jazz worthy vintage goodies. Oh yeah, baby, he's on that jazz. He's on the jazz, man. He's on the jazz. Yes, I got some vintage toys and they're pretty awesome. Let's do some show and tell. How sweet is this haul? Man, I made out like a bandit. So we ended up getting this vintage Power Rangers figure. I think his name is Squat, if I remember correctly. So we got him. I actually have one of him already. So this is the second one that I now own, which is always a good thing because it's always something I can trade or possibly flip in the future. But uh, I picked him up. I also got this cap gun. I had to get it. It says Texas on it, you know? So cool little uh, cap gun. It actually has, uh, you pull the trigger twice, there and there. So I don't know what the purpose of that mechanism is. Maybe it actually fires twice. You know, sometimes uh, I don't, I'm trying to think, I think at some point in time, I saw an antique gun, a handgun, like a six shooter that had like a double barrel on it. And that's kind of how it would work. You would pull that trigger once and then pull it again to fire it a second time. I might be wrong. It might've been maybe a rifle that I saw with that type of mechanism. But anyway, I thought that was really cool. So I picked that up. I got this, I'm saving the best for last. Uh, I picked up this Marvel figure. I think his name is Spymaster. And he has like this webbing on him, like Spider-Man, like through like his web around him or something like that. So I got him. I got, uh, the figure was already mine, but I got the toilet taxi. It is missing some parts. It's missing the steering wheel. There's like a little like area here in the back, like piping that goes in there. It's missing that, but still a really cool piece. And um, it actually matches his outfit, which is cool. And then like when you roll it backwards, see how the uh, the plungers come forward and you know, in and out. And I think that is really cool. It's got this little, you know, grimacing face sticker here on the bottom of it. And then we got this Transformers G1 Dreadwind. So how freaking awesome is that, guys? We got a G1 Transformer. I'm pretty certain it is. Like if you guys, as some of you have corrected me in the past, that's oh, not a G1, burp. but I'm pretty sure this is a G1 Dreadwind. So I am super stoked to be adding this one to my G1 Transformer collection because it is badass. And like I said, guys, this haul right here got me all jazzed up. Man, we've been making some awesome scores throughout the month of December. Like the last couple of months have actually been really good for vintage toy finds. I guess like as, you know, the Christmas season approaches, people start dumping old stuff off at the, uh, at the thrift stores and, Lucky for, lucky for me, it's vintage toys. So, you know, people making room in their attic or their basement and getting rid of stuff and getting ready for new stuff that comes in, I guess. But anyway, man, what a haul. Very excited for it. Very, very happy camper. And hey, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.